All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Great North Zoo, a part of a collab collaborative project um, with several other uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 channels here on YouTube. Um, if you look, go down to the uh, description, you'll find a link to a playlist where you guys can check out other people's videos in the series. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I guess we'll get into this. So right here you can see I am just basically furnishing the, um, the log cabin that you saw in the first episode, um, which is kind of repurposed as a uh, staff center. Um, not too much to it. There wasn't a whole lot of items. I don't have a ton of uh, interior decorative items uh, downloaded right now, so I didn't have a ton to work with, but uh, I might come back later when I have more of those and uh, spruce it up a little bit, uh, but we'll see. It's not a major issue <laughs> at the moment. So uh, just put a few things in there uh, to get us started. So that way it looks like it uh, uh, fills the role that I, I needed to or wanted to. I actually considered trying to fit, find a way to put the actual staff center inside there uh, and inc incorporate it into the building, but mm, I think that would have been too difficult. This is not the right look. Uh, it's, it's possible that I could um, still do that maybe in the future you could do something like that maybe put it along the side of it um, and then sort of change all the, the walls and stuff hide it hide all the stuff that doesn't look too great uh, behind other stuff other custom um, items and stuff but anyway getting into the actual uh, another exhibit that we're adding today is the uh, South American tapirs adding two of them uh, to the zoo in this small um, area over here kind of behind the uh, the wild boar exhibit and also I, I do want to move the wild boar exhibit or at least change it somehow because I realize that it's pretty uh, unsafe if you're looking at realism point of view considering that uh, wild boar actually could be very dangerous and the fence is just a few logs like a small log fence pretty short so people could easily reach their hands in there and stuff so probably would change would like to uh, adjust that, move it somewhere else, either move them, put something else in there, or just change up the exhibit a little bit. But I don't have a lot of room to work with where it's situated, so uh, I have to think about that. I tried to do that in this one, but I couldn't really come up with anything, so um, we'll do that in the future, I'm sure. And I did change all their names to the names you guys suggested in the comments, so if you guys have other names for um, these tapirs as well as other animals that I'll be adding, uh, in the future, you guys can go ahead and leave those in the comment section. But anyway, I changed up the foliage a little bit um, in this exhibit compared to what I was going with um, in the other two. The other two I did very, very little in the terms of foliage. Um, I figure it over time I'll change that and add more, but this one's a little bit more tropical, which I think is probably appropriate. And I added the sand uh, just to sort of break it up, make it look a little more interesting instead of just having everything be the uh, boreal or tempered forest ground. So. And just closing off this air, that over there, um, there will be more exhibits in that direction at some point, um, but but not yet, so. And I think in just a second here, we'll go to um, a tour. You can and you can see the exhibit up close. Just adding these few logs and stuff. And yeah, here we go. So nothing else has really changed. Uh, all I did in this one was just, um, you know, work on that log cabin, get that finished, and then um, do the second exhibit or third exhibit, I guess it would be. Um, and then I actually forgot to put a staff gate in here when I did this part, but I added one afterwards. So. Still only have the one zookeeper, but there's only three exhibits and they're all pretty small and close together, so that's really all I need. Um, in the next exhibit, I'm not, or next video, I'm not sure what exhibit we'll be doing next um, in the zoo, but we shall see. I still have a couple more on my list of starter animals, because uh, the way this whole... I, the first video explains it a little bit better, so if you, I'm sure you guys have seen that, but... Or you can go to... Uh, in the playlist there's videos that definitely explain it better than I do but uh, yeah I only have a few starting animals to choose from so 
I still have a few more I can go with. I'll probably use one of those. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I do want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.